while not a well-documented feature, you can use your B-Station to back up the contents of either a USB flash drive or an external USB hard drive. So in this video, we're going to show you how. First, let's connect a USB drive to a computer and copy a number of files to the drive. If we now disconnect the USB drive from our computer and then plug it into the USB port on our B station, we can create a task that whenever this drive is plugged into our B station, our B station will check the drive and back up any files that have been edited or newly created. Before we can back up our USB drive, we first need to connect to the B station portal and sign into B files. While there are a couple of ways to do this, for this example, we're going to use the BStation for Desktop app. When BFiles opens, if we use the sidebar and navigate to external drives, we should see the USB drive that we've just connected to our BStation. Once again using the sidebar, if we choose USB Backup, we can make a backup of our external USB drive. Let's click Backup Now to display the Create USB Backup panel. In the USB or external drive field, we should find the name of our USB drive. However, if more than one USB drive has been connected to our B station, we may need to manually select it from our drop down menu. We now need to choose if we want to back up a specific folder or the whole drive. As the data on our USB drive is not in a folder, we're going to choose to back up the whole drive. Next, we need to set the conflict policy, which will really be dependent on your personal preferences. For example, while we are going to use the option Keep Both Files, if you prefer, you can simply have the backup overwrite any files that have changed. Next, we have Auto Backup, which, if we leave this option disabled, will only make a single backup of our USB drive. So if we want to continually update the backup of this drive, we're going to need to change this setting to enabled. It's worth noting that when our B station starts its backup, it will beep twice in order to confirm that our backup has started and then finished, which is very handy as it means we won't need to load B files each time we backup our USB drive. Let's click Backup Now. As you can see, Within USB Backup, we are notified that a backup is in progress. However, our B station will also beep twice to signify that a backup has begun, and then beep twice again to notify us that a backup has been completed. With our backup now made, we're going to quickly check what files have been backed up by selecting our backup task. We should now find a backup folder which contains all of the files that have been backed up. Then to the right of this folder, we have the status of our backup, along with the ability to start a manual backup. If we open the backup folder, we will find a copy of the files taken from our USB drive. If we return to USB backup, you may have noticed that we have an option button for our backup task. If we select it, we are presented with a quick menu that displays a number of options. The first will simply load the location of our backup while Edit Display Name can be useful if you have a number of backups which all have generic names. Information simply tells you when the backup was created or last modified. While Delete and Disable All Backups are pretty much self-explanatory. As far as we can tell, there are no limits to the number of USB drives that we can make backups for. So the final option in the USB backup section is the ability to create another USB backup. In order to access the files that we've backed up to our B station, if from Windows we open File Explorer and then select Network. Under the heading Computer, if we select our B station, while we can still see that our USB drive is connected to our B station, if we click the folder called Home, and then choose USB Backup, we will find listed a folder with the name of our USB drive. If we open this folder, we should then find the backup copy of our files. 
on Mac OS. If we open Finder and then connect to our vStation, as our USB drive is still connected to our vStation, we can see it listed as a network share. However, if we open Home and select the folder called USB Backup, we will find listed a folder with the name of our USB drive. If we open this folder, we should then find the backup copy of our files. Let's demonstrate how auto backup works. If we remove our USB drive from our B station and reconnect it to a computer, let's copy a new file to the USB drive. Now, if we disconnect the USB drive and plug it back into our B station, when our B station detects the drive, it will beep twice informing us that a backup has begun. RB Station will now check each file to see if any data has changed or if there are any new files that need to be added to the backup. When the backup has been made, RB Station will beep twice for a second time. If we now jump back to B files and in the USB backup section select the backup job for our USB drive, we can see that a new file has been added to our backup. Before we finish up, it's worth noting that we found the USB backup function to be a little unreliable, particularly when we tried to backup a one terabyte external USB hard drive. So not only would it take longer to make a backup, we also found that our B-Station would suddenly ignore our external USB hard drive, which was something that we could only fix by rebuilding our backup task. So to summarize, in this video, we took a look at how you use your Synology B station to backup external USB hard drives or USB flash drives. We then demonstrated how you can find your backup files before taking a look at the B station auto backup function.